Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to show you how to do a herbal bath powder preparation. This is again one of the most requested video from our subscribers and friends. They all wanted us to do herbal bath powder preparation. So in this video we are going to show you how to do a herbal bath powder preparation. This herbal bath powder has lot of benefits in it. The each and every ingredients used in bath powder has special qualities to keep your skin soft supple and we have added certain ingredients in the herbal bath powder which really helps you to get rid of the facial hair and body hair for women and certain ingredients which are very exotic and those ingredients really help you to get your skin really soft supple glowing flawless which really removes any acne dark spots or any kind of blemishes in your skin and it also keeps your skin moisturized and all these ingredients used in bath powder are absolutely natural and this is a gift from our mother nature and all these ingredients are incorporated in this herbal bath powder to have glowing gorgeous skin so the ingredients required for the herbal bath powder or the ayurvedic bath powder are avarampu uh, in english it is otherwise called as avaram sena we are going to take around 25 grams of avarampu Basically avaram poo is used in the bath powder to improve the complexion and it's really very good for skin related problems. It also helps to reduce pigmentation related issues and also it reduces the dark spots and blemishes and it's overall good for your skin. And the next ingredient is kasturi manjal. This is called as wild turmeric. There are three types of turmeric. One kind of turmeric is used in cooking and the other two kinds of turmeric are used for beauty purposes. And this kasturi manjal is mainly used in beauty purpose and there is another kind of uh, turmeric which is uh, which has a very strong color. Uh, so most of the people uh, would not prefer to use that because that would make your clothes dirty so i am going to use kasturi manjal so this is more suitable for the bath powder and also kasturi manjal is really very good for skin and it also reduces the unwanted facial hair growth and also it eventually get rid of the facial hairs and it's a very good antiseptic and also it evens the skin tone and reduces blemishes and dark spots yeah, we are going to take around 50 grams of kasturi manjal. And the next ingredient is pulan kilanga. This is how it would look. This is otherwise called as white turmeric. It is a very good scrub. It naturally brightens your skin and also whitens your complexion. And it is also a very good antiseptic. It's very good for the skin and also it removes dead skins and dead cells. So we are going to take around 50 grams of pulan kilanga. The next ingredient we are going to use is called as Kora Kalanga and this is otherwise called as Cypress Rotandus or Nagar Mota. This is again an antibacterial and it's good for any kind of skin related problems and it also relaxes your body. It's good for any kind of body pains and inflammations and also it helps to remove the unwanted hair in the body. So it's also very good to treat any kinds of wounds and small kind of breakouts in your skin. We are again taking 50 grams of Kora Kalanga for this herbal bath powder preparation. And the next ingredient I'm going to use is Amla powder as it contains a lot of vitamin C it is really Really very good for skin and it also helps in whitening and brightening your skin and also it helps to treat acne and pimples and it is overall very good for your skin so for this herbal bath powder preparation I'm going to take 50 grams of amla which is in dried form and the next ingredient we are going to use is called as Adi Madhram I'm sure most of you wouldn't have seen this Adimadram live. This is how it would look like. It is actually a root of the plant and uh, this is called as licorice roots in English. It helps to reduce body odor. It treats heat burns and any kind of skin related problems. It also cleanses your respiratory system. It's really good for cough and common cold and it has lots of medicinal benefits too. It is also taken as a medicine to control consume for a lot of health related problems but here we are going to uh, use it for the skin related problems it is really very very good it is almost used in all the cosmetics and beauty products and this licorice is really good for anti-aging it's good for cough and cold and has a lot of medicinal benefits too it has an antibacterial properties very good to treat eczema and acne 
so this cannot be used a lot you have to use a little so we for this uh, proportion we are using only around 25 grams of licorice so i'm using one big chunk of licorice root for this preparation and the next ingredient for this herbal bath powder preparation is ginger this is the dried form of ginger so ginger actually relaxes the body and also reduces the body pain actually relaxes your muscles so we are going to use around 25 grams of ginger and the next ingredient I'm gonna use for this herbal bath powder preparation is rose flowers these are wild roses these are the normal roses rose petals are used for moisturizing properties and also it makes your skin soft and glowing as you all familiar with the benefits of roses and rose water it protects your skin from sun damages and also increases the glow and complexion of your skin it also gives you a wonderful texture to your skin and also it adds fragrance to this herbal bath powder so we are taking around 50 grams of rose petals for this bath powder. Next ingredient I'm going to use is green gram otherwise called as moong dal. So we are going to take around 150 grams of green gram. This is actually the base for the herbal bath powder. They actually use the powder of this green gram to bath the newborn babies and uh, that is how it was then later we started using soaps to bathe the babies but in certain traditional houses still today they bathe the babies with this powder it's very good for the skin and it's highly moisturizing and it also reduces the blemishes dark spots and also gives a glowing skin it's a natural scrub so it removes the dead skins and it exfoliates your skin naturally and the next ingredient for this bathing powder is called as vetiver we have spoken about vetiver many times in our video if you really want to go and check our video about the vetiver health benefits we'll be linking it below and you can click on that and to see how vetiver is useful in other ways we are going to use this vetiver for this herbal bath powder this actually softens your skin texture and helps to reduce the unevenness in the skin by removing the dead skins and small rough and warts in your skin it's a good scrub too and it is a very good body coolant so we are adding around 15 grams of vetiver for this herbal bath powder preparation and the next ingredient we are going to add is rice this is raw rice this is not boiled rice this is raw rice so we are going to add around 100 grams of raw rice for this this is again a base for this bathing powder this is a natural scrub and it naturally exfoliates your skin it is very moisturizing it has a lot of moisturizing properties and also nourishes the skin from inside so we are going to use around 100 grams of rice for this these are the whole ingredients which we are going to use for this herbal bath powder preparation apart from that we are going to use few other ingredients which we are going to use in a powder form because as I didn't get them in the raw dry form uh, I have to use the powders if in case you are able to get them in the dried forms like that you can use that that ingredient is tulsi powder I'll be using around 25 grams of tulsi powder for this herbal bath powder preparation actually and the next ingredient I am going to use is the orange peel powder I have already done a video how to prepare the orange peel powder at home and uh, I, we will be linking that video also here in the info bar you can check it out how to prepare the orange peel powder at home it would be a hundred percent pure natural orange peel powder so I would be using again another 25 grams of orange peel powder for this herbal bath powder preparation orange peel powder is an excellent exfoliant and it's very good for the skin it helps you to get flawless skin and also it just gives an excellent glow to your skin and it will show your skin very very fresh and glowing orange peel powder is an excellent scrub it helps to remove the sun tan it protects the skin from sun damages and it also lightens the skin complexion and the next ingredient which I always add in the bath powder is neem powder I already had this neem powder at home so I'm using this neem powder instead of the dried neem leaves 
so I'll be using again around 25 grams of neem powder as you all know that the neem is an excellent antimicrobial and an excellent antiseptic it cures acne and various skin related problems and infection and it prevents the skin and also it prevents the skin from acne and pimples so I would be drying all these ingredients in the sun. I have already dried these ingredients in the sun. So it's all very crisp and it's all really dried. So I'd be giving it out to get this made as a powder. I'll be back once making this as a powder. Wow, it has a wonderful fragrance. Here we have ground the powder. So in this powder, I'm going to add 25 grams of Tulsi, 25 grams of neem powder and 25 grams of orange peel powder so let's take the weighing scale and let's mix that in this stuff here is the 25 grams of tulsi powder which i'm taking and putting in this tub and the next ingredient is orange peel powder it's orange peel powder so i'm adding another 25 grams of orange peel powder to it and the next ingredient is going to be the neem powder so 25 grams of neem powder just mix it well so it would look like and it has a fantastic aroma so in this powder what you have to do is like it can be applied two ways one is by taking this powder and mixing it with water and applying it on your body and uh, rubbing it all over the body for two minutes and then washing it off Please do try this herbal bath powder at home. If in case you have any clarification, you can drop us an email. We are here to help you out. And if you really like this video, please don't forget to hit on the like button. And please do share your feedback and comments to us. And your comments and feedbacks are really valuable to us. And subscribe to our channel for more updates. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay beautiful. Bye-bye.